Gender equality is a broad concern that involves various aspects of the state and society. At the ICTD, by studying taxation, we are looking at how to make the fiscal system work for women. I'm the thematic focal point for gender and tax at the ICTD. I'm also pursuing my PhD at the University of Cambridge, where I study property rights and taxation in rural areas of Sierra Leone and Zambia. I'm also a doctoral fellow at the Local Government Revenue Initiative, or LOGRI. A lot of people are intrigued about the links between gender and taxation. We know that the tax system in isolation cannot resolve all the problems of gender inequality in our society. By addressing some of its challenges and ensuring a fair interaction between citizens and the state, the tax system can be a powerful advocate for women's economic advancement. With my colleagues, I have been working on an ambitious cross-country study. We use survey and when available administrative data from five countries, namely Rwanda, Eswatini, Sierra Leone, Ethiopia and Nigeria to test if reported attitudes towards the tax system match people's actual behaviours when interacting with it. We find evidence that women experience major disadvantages when entering the tax system. This can be through the form of intimidation from tax officials who deliberately target women when they are enforcing tax compliance. It could also be through lower levels of knowledge about what the purpose of taxation is and what women expect to get in return for meeting their tax obligations. Another challenge that emerged show that researchers do not often account for women's daily lived realities when collecting household taxpayer data. For example, they don't ask questions about how women's family obligations affect their ability to reinvest their profits back into the business. This does not seem to be a factor for a lot of the men that we studied. So in this case, does it actually make sense for us to tax men and women in the same way at the same rates? So far, we've spoken a lot about data and research, but our work isn't just limited to producing academic papers. We have teamed up with someone from the Rwandan Revenue Authority to bring together our knowledge and their practical experiences to derive actionable policy recommendations in Rwanda. 